But if none of them use the name Horus, what makes you think that's my name? In my very body, in my eyes, when I behold thee, upon thy image are these words inscribed, Friend, Horus. Huh. Thou hast answered my questions, but still I shall not let thee pass unless thou bearest in thy hand the gospel which I bestowed upon thee. Here it is, ever faithful, your old gospel. I have studied it many times. Then thou art worthy of the shrine, and of my gift to thee. Keep the gift, and approach if thou wilt. Okay. Wow! Look at all those bombs! Thou mayest take one of the relics, one of That looks like something out of Fallout. Also, I get the feeling these numbers are going to be important. So, well, it records all the important data you find in that little satchel thing. I don't know, data pack. So, I'm going to go ahead and just assume that it's recorded that as well. 734, that's, I'm guessing that's the one the other guy took. That is a lot of bombs back there. 325 is ours. Number 325 it is. So can this power the unique boss? Only one way to find out. Okay, so for now... You got anything to say to me? We don't have anything to talk about right now. Good, because his speech pattern was really getting annoying. <laughs> Alright, back to the unique. I said back to the unique. Uh, let's see if that thing can power it. Use bomb mode on cradle. You can really just put a bomb straight into that machine? Sure. The pedestal draws on the radiation it's emitting. The what it's emitting? Well... Keep taking <laughs> away from me! <sighs> Assuming the wavelength is compatible, the pedestal can draw power even with the bomb intact. If that works, I'll take the bomb apart and improve the output. And then I'm going to take a long, hot recharge. Right. Well, here it goes. Switching over to primary power. And it doesn't work. I'm just guessing. It's been way too long. It works, boss. Recharge hey. station. Okay. Here I, come. I was wrong. Um that was supposed to happen. Or right? not. No. No, it wasn't. So take the bomb apart. Improve the output. It won't work. The bomb's too unstable. Just try it, boss. Besod it, Crispin. It won't work. It worked! <sighs> That's the emergency generator again. Oh. <laughs> this is just a full-built paperweight. An explosive full-built paperweight. <sighs> so, what now, boss? I don't know. Keep looking, I guess. Keep looking. Well, worst case scenario, I now have something to shove inside Crispin and throw him off a cliff if he starts pissing me off. I mean, you know, not that I would. He's already a bomb himself. Do you guys remember that from the uh, previous episodes? Why am I walking? I can just map. Alright, let's check out this dome. Because the robot, I'm, I think I'm done with the robot. I can't do anything with the junk pile until I get my uh, this specific tool I gotta build. I do remember that. I couldn't remember if the bomb worked or not. And the shrine is now pointless to go to. Um, because I'm done there. So let's go to the dome. Hey! Whoa, look at all this wrecked stuff. Do you think Big Ugly did all this? Oh, no. Whatever happened here happened a long time ago. Endoskeleton. It's some kind of broken down android. No, that's a person. He's got a pocket. There's a radio transmitter in here. Okay. We might be able to learn something from such a primitive robot design. Like how to build a power core? Very funny. Primitive? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Empty. Something must have damaged this robot's head. I wonder what happened. Oh, wow. Same old moon. 
makes you wonder what planet we're actually on. Because I keep thinking this is Mars. It's red. That's why. Ah, there's a basic targeting CPU in here, and it's still intact. Let's just hope there aren't any incoming space invaders or missiles that the gun was supposed to take care of. I'm pretty sure that gun doesn't shoot anymore. Nothing worth salvaging. Oh, are these the kind of treads you were going to use in my original design? Not exactly. Hey, boss, can I have that big gun for an arm? Spare me your fantasies, Crispin. Broken down machine parts. They're completely corroded and worthless. Okay, so I think for now we're done here. Um. Hey, that worked. Um... Well, yes. boss, you did it again. Mobile sensor, okay. It's not detecting any energy. Gotcha. It's not detecting any energy. You had to walk over there when you... Okay. It's not detecting any energy. Now that I have that, I can go back to the junk pile. Oh, it's beeping. Hey, you found something. There's no way I can reach that. Of course I can't. So, Crispin, you get to do something. You get to be useful. Crispin, go and see if you can find the power source. You have got to be kidding me. Is this squirrel? What is it? A battery. A besotting battery. Hey, don't look down on batteries. They're useful. A pretty basic radio transmitter. Looks like its battery is dead. In that case... Maybe someday the transmitter will give us a power source in return, huh, boss? Very funny. Okay, so... It's detecting energy. I wanted to combine them, but okay. Uh, if, you know. Still locked. I don't want to go throwing that around. Okay. So the reason why I tried that is because I do know you use the bomb for something like that. I'm actually about to do that. That's why it's not really a spoiler. I just don't... I, I don't think I have ever in my life managed to open this door. And I don't know if there's anything in there. I don't know if it's just there to tease you. But I want to open it. One robot's junk is another robot's treasure. Your junk. If only I were another robot. Oh. He wasn't trying to be funny. He was trying to be a smartass. Alright, back to the dome. On the door. It'll just roll off. Oh. You have to do things in order. In the grease. I don't want to go throwing that around. Well, now it's a sticky bomb. He had the wrong inflection. Now it's a sticky bomb. It's a joke. Right. Dome. Inventory. Sticky bomb. Slap that thing on the door. There we go. Then you use a signal transmitter. Hopefully I can remotely detonate the bomb. Crispin, get back. Um, I believe the prefix for that was seven. Prefix not seven? 